Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we are doing a review for my product, Mr. Proton. Mr. Proton Brought. Ooh. Uh, he did buy it from VaporHut.com. And it is. It is, well, it is the Segeli knockoff of the kick. Um, it's not an Evo kick, I want to state that now. It's not an Evo kick at all. It's literally a Segeli knockoff. On VaporHut, it's sold as a VHIC or a VHIC. Um, but a lot of stuff the hit. Uh, the hit. <laughs> but they've got a lot of like VH in front of other products and make it their own. But, but it's basically it's a kick, but it's a Sigeli version. Okay, just a quick video update, blah blah blah, what difference it can make and all the rest of it. Um very simply for those who don't know, this installs on top of your mechanical mod uh, and it allows you to adjust your watts, okay, which um is dictated by your resistance and your volts. So it adjusts your volts and amps accordingly to give you the consistent output in watts. Right, um, this was 16.99 I paid for this, um, plus a few quid deliveries, so basically 20 quid, um, which is basically half the price of the kick. Um, and on paper, they perform exactly the same. All right? I don't know, I haven't actually used an Evo kick, so I can tell you the ins and outs and the nitty gritty, but it is what it is. Um, what we'll do, to be honest, there's not really much we can talk about this, it's just a little print, it's a print circuit or chipset in there. And we'll basically, I'll point out where you adjust your watts, what you have to do a bit, and we'll show you the difference. What this is, this is a 3 ohm Bocato in the AGR um, on a Segeli 19 with a basically fresh battery, so 4.1 volts ish. Alright, guys, why is having a little quick little break there? Um, it does state down in the actual um, description that there is a, max, a, mi a minimum, a maximum of 19.5 millimeter internal diameter. So just make sure your uh, tube mod can any, take it in. Really, so any tube mod shouldn't really have anything more than 19.5. But massive. if there is one out there that is bigger, just make sure you can fit it in your device, obviously. Uh, it says... Uh, Standard procedure when it comes to battery, basically. Using 18490s or 18500 IMR, by, uh, IMR batteries. It can be used in 18500 size uh, tube devices. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, this adds... One and a half centimeters or 15 mil. So if you've got a mod, your 18350 mode, you've got no chance of using it with anything smaller. Use your 18350 battery in this. It's in, that makes your mod in 18500 mode. 18500 battery in this makes it in 18650. All right, that's how it works. You can't use it in 18650 in the CME19 anyway. I know there are mods out there that are capable of super telescoping beyond what they really should, and you might be able to squeeze it in, but um, not really worth it. But basically, this is this is the vape off of it. As you can see, we're struggling a wee bit. But what I literally do is I untelescope my mod all the way as far as it'll go, pop the kick in the top. Do want to point out, guys, I'm running this battery upside down. You can't do that with a kick. All right. Now, you, I think you put in this out the other day, you could just put the kick at the bottom. Uh, I haven't tried it, to be honest with you. I've got no need to try it, so I haven't bothered. I don't really have a problem with this one. I just find that I prefer it with a battery upside down, even mechanical. And so what I literally do, I'll take the tank off. Okay. No, sorry, down there. Um, basically, literally, I just pop the top off. But you can put these in from the bottom. I found that on here, basically, what you've got, as opposed to the kick on this yeah, one, the well, I'm just going to get on the zoom. You see the gold bit sticking out just at the top there. And um, basically, that kind of is a, on a ball spring, so that depresses and makes contact with your body um, when you insert the device, which gives you your negative. I have found that that can be a wee bit stiff at times, so you need to kind of angle it slightly and give it what I would class as a firm push, and I really don't like giving it a firm push, so I'm going to nick Worm's gold screwdriver <laughs> to depress that, just purely because I, me and circuit boards don't get on generally, and if I can reduce the risk of me breaking one, I'm going to. So be aware of that. Um, obviously, this is made to fit, and they say up to 19.5. I know the van is tight, and you would struggle to get something for like 18, 650 that's actually 18.3 but an 18 18 battery mod shouldn't really have 19.5 in it i don't think anyway um, but it is what it is so in some of your tighter mods you're going to struggle to get it in bear that in mind um i'll start getting there like so it's adjustable from uh from the minimum i don't know all right maximum um is 10 watts that this will give same as the kick um so yeah basically obviously maybe me it's set to 10, 10 watts, watts. All right. <laughs> It's a massive difference, absolutely huge difference. I did my calculations using ohms the other day. Um, like I said, this is a 3 ohm, or it's actually 2.8 ohm, I, I measured it, but 2.8 ohm Carto 
realistically, you've got no chance on something like a mechanical um, pushing 4.2 at very best without putting it under load. Um, but this will give you basically 5.3 now is what this is giving to calculate to 10 watts. Um, it's pretty pretty pointless to have this. You know, it's tobacco. It's yeah. pretty pointless um, to have this on a mechanical if you plan on running low-res coils because it gets to a point where your your resistance will um, <laughs> your resistance will be at a point where 10 watts is actually going to cut your power down as opposed to boost it up. I don't know if it actually does it or if it just delivers the battery, but in my experience, I found it makes it quite a bit weaker, obviously, um, giving you your 10 watt output. Something like, I mean, I've got a 0.8 coil in my A7. Running it with this would be absolutely pointless because you're capping them bolts right to the base end and you're not getting what you want. But for something like this, really handy. If you prefer to run those higher res coils, if you like sort of running your 2, 2.4s or something with using your 32, 34 gauge cam bolt, um, and you like to quite a few reps, this would be ideal because you can still do that, use it on a mechanical and get them bolts up enough to get you where you want to be. Uh, it is tweakable. Um, we will link the, the website and the product in the description for you if you want to go and have a, a close up picture of it. Um, I should have really shown this before I stuck it in the buggy mod. But it is tweakable. You do need a screwdriver. How you get out of it? Well, how I get it out is just do that and telescope it until it pops out the top. Um, I know the Evo kick again and it'll pop out. It's a little bit better system to hold. But basically, if we have a little look oh, there, you see that grey screwdriver next to your positive pin? Screwdriver? Screw screw bit thing, plastic, <laughs> what you call it. That bit of plastic um, posi drive in your blue box. That is how you adjust your watts. There's no markings on it. Okay, so there's no sort of, you, I, if I was designing it anyway, I'd have one of those screw threads with an arrow on, and basically when it was completely down, it'd be pointing to one area, completely up, pointing to another, to give you some kind of point of reference. On this, there is none, so basically what I did to tweak it was take it all the way to the top and leave it there. Um, but if you wanted to tweak it to say sort of nine or eight watts, give or take, then you can take it to the top and then back it off slightly. You can you can take it away to the bottom, flip it all around the top and gauge how much you've got to turn that screw in order to... How you worked it out was you basically turned it one way, all the way, Found it was not doing anything, so he turned it back the other way, and then it was obviously giving him uh, the 10 watts he wanted. So. Yeah, basically clockwise is up and counterclockwise is down. That's that is my kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> that is, I've got I mean, to I'm quite sure if you wanted to mark it yourself, you probably could with a little black permanent marker or something. Turn it fully up, turn it fully down. That's that is it. Um, I mean, the beauty with this is it's designed to work in watts. So you change the resistance, as long as you're not doing dramatic changes, because like I say, it will cap it. If you're changing from like a 2.8 ohm Bocato to a 2 ohm uh, core you've wrapped, and then you wanted to, for whatever, move on to an EVOD that was 2.4, you can stick it in your mod. Um, a lot of people say, what's an EVOD doing on a mechanical? Just this. Um, <laughs> some people are stuck up. Um, <laughs> but basically, they, um, you can put it on there and it will adjust your bolts accordingly, giving you that consistent output in watts, which is good. Um, because that way, from what I read and everything about it, it's kind of, you set it once, you find your butter zone, so if you like vaping at 9 watts, 8 watts, 7 watts, 10 watts, whatever you like to vape at, you set it there and you leave it there. You shouldn't really have any need to touch it again because it should give you a consistent output no matter what device you stick on top of it. All right. Um, it's not bad at all, I don't think. For, for, for what it is in the job it does and the purpose it serves, for me, I got it just so I could run the higher own cartos and stuff. Um, I And those of you guys who watch these videos really know I don't run anything over 1.2 ohms ever um, that I wrap myself. don't see the point. I like it hot, so I need that output in wattage to be higher than 10. But on these cartos, lovely job. Really good, because I prefer these cartos slightly higher. Yeah, guys, I, I, I would agree. It's a, it's a really good price if you do want to buy like a kick or the hick. Um, but um, for sixteen, is it sixteen ninety nine? It was sixteen ninety nine to try a kick that performs the same as a kick. A kick that performs the same as a kick. Yeah. So yeah. I don't regret buying it at all. I really don't. Um, have I been using it recently? Not loads. Uh, but I've been running basically low risk calls in eight sevens and AGRs and RSSCs and stuff. But for this, the purpose I bought it for, and this is the only reason I bought it, lovely job, suits, suits me down to the ground. Uh, and very worst case, if I broke like my variable voltage devices, which I too tend to do quite regularly, um, I could still run the high, the higher ohm stuff, the the more what I would call easy to use things like your tanks and your stuff that come higher ohms. I mean, you buy a Nova or a V3 or an Evo, you're not getting anything. It's more for your going the out stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Keep you like, a nice tank full of juice, so you don't have to carry around 
90 million things, although it does tend to carry around 90 million things anyway. Just in so, case, <laughs> just in case, I've got a, a, a mer- zombies come, <laughs> I need stuff and things to sort me out, but um, yeah, I mean, you don't, you can't buy anything low res, really, apart from maybe 1.5 dual, um, dual coil car. And then you have to run hot to get You have to run seriously hot to get that working properly, and this wouldn't serve that purpose, but for your, if you prefer higher res wrapping, um, if you find it more comfortable, if you prefer the way it goes, then this is definitely a way that you can tweak it. Or if you're just someone who likes mechanical mods but wants to be able to vary bits now and again, again, this is pretty good. Yeah, for me, again, I'm going 16.99. Can't go wrong. Head over to paperheart.com. Have a little look, see if you want to buy one. If you do, put an order in. If you don't, don't. <laughs> don't well, ones, it doesn't yeah. really get much more simple than that, does it? But yeah, we try to get a little feeler video out there. It's definitely worth 16.99. Um, it's going to be costing you less than any other variable voltage mod. Um, and if you like mechanical, it's really good. I love the fact that this was properly solid in here. You've got the advantage that I can run this how I would on Bama or whatever else. But it's in a nice solid mechanical. It's not going anywhere. And worst case is, pop it out. I'm back on seriously low res and burning my face off. Uh, we um, will give you an update video on if it dies, if it starts falling apart, or how well it's built. Like after we've used it for, well, after he's used it mainly for about a week or so, we're going to give it a good. Well, he's going to give it a good couple of run, I think. He's been using that, like you said, the last couple of days since he got it. I think he's going to carry on using it on his cartos that he's got going. So we'll definitely. give you a little update on like build quality. If you're in the market for the thing, definitely grab this. Um, from from what I'm reading, it's, I mean, there's limited about this. It's fairly new. But from what I'm reading, the kick hasn't really got much on it. Um, and it's half the price. So And the kicks are quite famous for breaking. I do know that. Uh, worst case is, if this has the same problem, you can buy two for the price of one kick. So... Hey ho, that is what it is. This is just a very quick video showing you, showing you it and sort of making sure that people are aware of it. Um, thank you to Tom from a Facebook group or Chaos on YouTube who pointed this out to me and made me instantly buy it, you bastard. As soon as he's been flapping, I'm going to do the outro. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Facebook and that is down there, Twitter, all that kind of hula pala. I've been the worm. I've been Mr. Pro, he's still not having it. I don't care what he says. <laughs> See you soon, guys. See you soon, guys.